dear Carrie. Um, I, this is the second time I've started this vlog because I just filmed for about 10 minutes and realised I hadn't pressed record. Yay! It is Monday and it's the start of a very exciting week because on Thursday, the 1st of March, it is World Book Day. So by the time you're watching this, it, that would have happened already, but all the celebrations around World Book Day will still be very much in full swing. In fact, when you're watching this, I will be travelling back down from Newcastle, I believe, um, which I'm, yeah, I'm going to... Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. That is all to come. Um, Thursday is World Book Day, and it is uh, a huge celebration of books and encourages children to read. Hopefully, if you're in a school, you're getting a book token or have a book token, uh, and you can go and use that book token to get a book for free uh, uh, in uh, in the shops, in all the bookshops. So, uh, and I've written one of the books that you can get. It's called Brain Freeze. Thanks to everyone who's read it and bought it. Thank you. If, you. if you don't get a book token, if you're not of school age, um, then the book is uh, its just a pound to buy. All the books, World Book Day, uh, are a pound. Anyway, I am kicking off um, my World Book Day celebrations with a school visit. I think the kids I'm seeing um, are from nursery age up to about seven years old, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, scary times. It is terrifying going to visit kids in schools. So hopefully they'll be nice to me. Uh, I'm taking a whole pile of books, taking Brain Freeze, Christmas Aurus, The Creakers, um, uh, Dinosaur the Pooped, there's a monster in your book. And also, as a backup, Pink Ukulele, which I think one of my kids has dropped something in. And so we might have a little sing-song as well, although I do have a bad voice. Uh, also happening this week is I'm going to the ear, nose and throat doctor, so... Yeah, lots going on this week. Busy week, yet again. Anything else to tell you while I'm here? Carrie, you won an award! Yes! Uh, I forgot about that. That happened last night. So congratulations, Carrie. Wow, right at the beginning of the vlog. I feel like this is going to be a really difficult vlog to edit. <sighs> I need to slow things down a bit. Actually, I can't. I'm running late. Last minute practice. I'm meant to be leaving in... <laughs> now. I saw a dinosaur do a poo Just on the floor, not even in the loo I'd estimate it was as big as you It wasn't like the kind of doo-doo that you do Yeah, I'll get away with it Sorry books, sorry books. This is school and uh, I'm going into my own, no one's coming with me from like the, uh, from the publisher or management or anyone, so I've, I'm not going to be able to film anything in the school. So, um, yeah. it did happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm back from the school. Uh, it was really, really good fun. Um, Anyone else, when someone says I'm back, want to say, and now you're back from my face. And now I'm back from the school. I did a reading and it was really, really cool. I'm back from the school and it was, uh, it was really good. It was fantastic. I won't lie, I was a little bit nervous leading up to this. Um, I always get this way before doing readings uh, of books, especially on my own. Back in the day when it was me and Doug doing these uh, together for Dino Poop, it was a bit easier because we just, you know, we messed around. But um, for reading for kids can sometimes be a little bit daunting and scary because kids don't lie. Kids are honest. And if you, if you suck and your book is not enjoyable, they will let you know. Um, but all of the kids were amazing. And it's now properly, properly snowing. I mean, it is March. I don't ever remember it snowing in March like this, do you? Yeah. Ever. Ever. It's a good way to start the week when you're singing Christmas songs and it's snowing in March. I think it's going to be a good week.
Today we are off to Radio 2 first uh, for an interview with Annika Rice, I believe. Which is, uh, I've actually met Annika Rice before, she came on stage and surprised us at a McFly gig many moons ago. Um, bit of a childhood hero there. I used to love watching Talent Delica. I'm off to uh, to chat about books for World Book Day on Radio 2 and then after that it's off to uh, to do a load of interviews together at, um, at Global Radio from the Global Radio stations. So a lot of radio to chat about books uh, and that's if we make it there um, depending on traffic in the snowy conditions. Not that it's that snowy but us Londoners do go a bit crazy when it snows. That is it, interviews are done uh, for the day. I cannot believe the snow. I've never seen snow in central London like this. And I, I went to school in central London. I don't ever remember seeing snow like this any time of year, let alone in March. Bumped into this one. It's so cold. Uh. Well, they do match nicely. Don't know where my scarf begin ends and your coat begins. <laughs> You and me, meant to be together. <laughs> <laughs> now on my way to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. See what's going on with my throat. Ah. Throat doctor didn't find anything suspicious in my throat, <clears throat> but he numbed it and shoved the camera down it. So uh, I have a numb throat. Actually, it's coming back a bit now, but it's a bit of a weird feeling. Right, I'm getting my comfies, putting the kids to bed, having some dinner, and then me and G need to plan uh, because we're doing a presentation for the publisher tomorrow night. So we need to plan. Ooh, don't know what we're saying yet. Literally, not clue what we're saying yet. Be interesting. World Book Day. Oh, the lights went out. It's World Book Day. Dramatic lighting. Da, da, da. It is World Book Day, and I think it's going to be a snow day. Buzz and Buddy uh, are off school and nursery, I believe. Um, so there'll be plenty of kids around the country who aren't going to be going into school dressed up and celebrating World Book Day. Uh... Uh, 
very quick interview done on uh, Good Morning Britain. They ran out of time because the uh, the red weather warnings, so uh, we were cut short. But it was really great uh, meeting Jim Field, um, who's the illustrator of the Oi uh, Oi Goat uh, for World Book Day and Oi Frog, Oi Dog, Oi Cat, and all uh, those books, which my uh, my kids love. So it's great meeting him. Uh, we're now heading off to a school to uh, sing some songs, read some books, and get asked some questions from some kids. Wish me luck. Right, back in the car after the school visit, um, which was great, very fun. Uh, uh, we're now off to um, Downing Street for World Book Day, another World Book Day event. Don't know exactly what, what I'm doing there, but I might sing a song about poop. And number 10. Song about number twos, and number 10. <laughs> Going into Downing Street now. Probably can't film much in it. Okay, just finished at Downing Street. Um, that was fun. Um, I met Pamela Butchart. Pamela was really so lovely. Um, she was there with her husband, and sorry, I've forgotten your name, um, and her son, Albie, who's 10 months old, um, who was very sweet. Um, and she was brilliant. Pamela was amazing. Uh, we both did readings and sang some songs, did some activities with the kids at Downing Street um, that they'd invited down to um, help celebrate. World Book Day. I sang a song about poop. If I don't get an invite back, you know why? Just realised I haven't actually said that much about World Book Day uh, in this vlog, I don't think. I know I've talked about it, I haven't said about exactly what it is. World Book Day is a celebration and what it does is encourages children to explore books and share stories and engage in reading uh, and it does that by providing them with book tokens and kids can use those book tokens to get free books. Um, so there are 10 free books, I've written one of them, and it's such an incredible way to, uh, to inspire kids um, to read more. And there's an amazing statistic that I can't ever remember, um, but there's a, a massive amount of kids uh, that get the World Book Day books. Uh, for them it's their first ever book that they've owned themselves. So it's such a brilliant, important thing that World Book Day does. I'm extremely proud to be involved, and in, because of that reason it is a... Uh, a, a huge responsibility, I think, uh, for the authors who write these books. These books go out to so many kids around the country um, that could potentially be picking up a book for the for the first time on their own, um, and that's such an amazing moment. So it's uh, it's a, a, a real privilege to be one of the authors selected, and I hope um, I hope anyone that reads Brain Freeze, uh, any of the kids, if you use your token to get Brain Freeze, I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm here now for a couple of hours. It is midday and I've had nothing to eat today, so I'm going to get some room service. Backstage at Penguin Presents, um, which is like a big conference for the Penguin Company, and uh, and we are going on to talk on stage. They are publishers. They, yes, they publish us both. And, and they uh, said, "Can you come along and inspire our staff?" <laughs> and we said, "No, but we'll come along and talk anyway." Uh, so we're about to go on stage in about 20 minutes ish. Um, we're currently we're at the London Palladium. This is my old dressing room for Every Oliver. Every time we're here, it's the same story. I know, but it's a good story. This is where we're going in a minute. 
Well, they were on our own. No one's interviewing us. No, it's just, just the two of us. Talking. Just the two of us. Oh, that should be our entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> That is it, we're done. We are done. We are done. Uh, we're on our way home. Um, that went alright, didn't it? Yeah, it did. We had laughter. There was lots of laughter. Yeah. Always good. There's just some giggles in that. I mean, we are being. We were followed by Michael Sheen and Philip Pullman. I mean, that's... I'm sure they were quaking in their boots at following us. <laughs> I doubt. Something tells me they might not have been. Right, um, so this has been quite a mammoth vlog, this one. But, has it? Uh, was it just one day? No, no, from, oh. from uh, the school visit the other day. It's almost like a weekly vlog. Yeah. Uh, happy World Book to everyone. Don't forget, kids, you can use your book tokens. Uh, I'm really sorry to everyone who uh, was coming to the event in Newcastle that has been cancelled because of the snow. Um, I believe you can get a yeah, refund, obviously, on your tickets. So, really sorry about that. It's not my call, but I think we can all agree it's probably for the best given the current weather uh, circumstances. Um, so, stay safe, everyone, in the snow, and enjoy some books. Happy World Book Day. You've been you. We. <laughs> You've been you. We've been, been these people. people. Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> yay. Bye. <laughs>